crunch game in terms of that top four. We're five points behind with a game in hand. Um, Villa are, you know, they're a team on form. They're getting their results consistently at the moment. Spurs, you know, a bit hit and miss at the moment, losing to Wolves, coming back and winning against Crystal Palace, which was probably our best performance in a while. But Kate, do you feel like we need to win this game against Aston Villa to have any chance of top four? I did. I did actually think when when Sim sort of mentioned to me that question, I thought, yeah, we've got we've got to win this game. But then I looked at their fixtures and our fixtures, and there's still a lot of football to be played, a lot mm. of games to be played, and they've got a very tough run as well. They've got to go away to Arsenal. I think they've got to go away to City still. Um, but I think it will give the team a massive, massive confidence boost if we can get. I'd like to take all three points, obviously, but. Um, even a draw, but I mean, I, we, we we need to win to make a statement that we're back and we, we want that top four space, you know, and put pressure on Villa. They've got Ajax, I think, Thursday, and then they've got yeah. Ajax after as well. So they've got the disadvantage of having Europe. They, they've got a lot of injuries. Um, our best friend's a Villa fan. He said they've got about eight injuries to key players. So, you know, we need to make a statement. Tottenham are being written off again. And, and Aston Villa, you know, people are saying they're guaranteed to get full spot. The only way to shut them up is to is to win. So, although I think there's still a lot of games to be played and a lot of points to be won and lost, I think to we need that confidence win. And I think Villa will be that. So, yeah, okay. three points need to come back. I, I totally agree. But if we do lose, let's say it goes to eight points with a game in hand, do you think that gap is insurmountable or do you think it's still not over? No, I still don't think it's over. If it was a team like, no disrespect to Villa, because I think they've been incredible this year. But if it was a team like Arsenal, I would say 100%. There's no way. But, you know, we've seen this year. The you couldn't have used Man City really... or Liverpool instead, could Sorry. you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still. Do you know what? I watched Arsenal last night and they blew my mind. That's what it is. As much as that makes me feel sick to say it, um, but or a team like Man City or Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do you know what I mean? I think with Villa, they have got the European games. They haven't got the biggest squad in the world. They have got injuries, and we've seen. I think this Premier League this year, the results have been bonkers at times. People yeah. beating teams, beating teams that you wouldn't expect. Anything can happen. So, no, I don't think it's insurmountable, but I do think we really need to win this game. Mm. Amir, are you of the same thinking? Do you feel like we have to go and beat Villa to get top four? No, no, no. I'm with Kate. I, I think there's a lot of football to be played, um, to be honest with you, Ben. I just think it's it's a six-pointer in terms of it, it sets the standards for top four. You know, if we go out and win, it's putting our foot on that fourth place saying that's ours. We're coming for you, Villa. Prepare yourselves for another Europa League or whatever it is, you know? So that, for me, is the the point of the match. It's, it's not a decider, you know? It's not a, one of those ones. But it's it's a critical game. And in terms of, you know, wanting revenge for what they did to us with the robbery that they pulled, I, I really want to see us go up there and, and destroy their Champions League hopes, you know? <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be really honest with you. Uh, we should be in there. We should be hosting those Champions League nights, not them. So let's hope that the boys can go up there and do it. Um, it will be a very, very tough game, though. They're, they're a very, very decent side, and they, they've got you know players that can really hurt you. So that defense that we were talking about earlier, they're going to have to be on point, and Basuma will also, you know, have to play out of his skin for us to come back with three points from there. Amir, if I offered you a point right now and um, you can you know, just get out of there with a point and move on, would you take it? Never. Never. <laughs> Love it. Never. Um, Sim, what's your take? Um, to answer the question directly, do I think we need to win to get top four? I don't think we need to win. I think a draw would be a fine result. I think it keeps us in a good position. Um, I think a loss would be a bit of a disaster. Um, and I think if that if that was to go to eight points um, with the game in hand, it's getting close to being insurmountable. I wouldn't say it's completely, but it's getting close. And I think it would be really, really detrimental because that I think I think psychologically more than anything. 
that that gap would be massive not necessarily just because of the games or anything i just think the psychological effect of villa having an eight point gap over us i think would give them such a massive boost i think it would give them a bit more freedom to play their football when the pressure is on as a and, and us as well when we're constantly chasing it would be um difficult to, psychologically to deal with it not so, even so much um i don't think it's insurmountable when you look at the fixtures i think we could overcome it but i think it would be a massive psychological blow but when I look at the fixtures, I'm not. I think we both, both of us and Villa, have really tough fixtures. But it's not the tough fixture I'm looking at. We've still got the bottom three to play. I know they're going to be fine relegation, but Burnley and Sheffield United might be gone soon, and obviously Luton at home. They're, they're in the bottom three for a reason. So we've still got the it's bottom three last to play. games as well, isn't it? Burnley last two games United. of Burnley and Sheffield United, Villa have played the bottom three already. So they don't have those games to come up. We've got still got, got quite a lot of games against the teams in the bottom half, even though we've got a really hard run in April. And Villa, I think, I was looking at their fixtures, I think only three games they've got left are against teams in the bottom half. So um, they've got a tougher fixture list, even when you account for our April run where we, where we play Newcastle, um, Newcastle away, Liverpool away, City at home, Arsenal at home. And also... Um, even though we play City, they go, they play City and Arsenal away. We play City and Arsenal at home, and I would bank that we might not lose both those games. We might get a point or, or win one of those games if we're, if we're on our game as well. Villa have been slowing down at home. We I've seen that recently quite a lot. Um, I know they got a good win against Forest, but everyone talks about their home, their amazing home form this season and how uh, good they've been. Well, we're only one point behind them now in in the home table, so that goes to show how much we've caught up with them when it comes to the home form. Um, they've still got European football as well. They they obviously they're going to play Ajax on Thursday, and uh, we've uh, we've got no European football. That's going to play its part. When I look at Villa squad, they're very very relying on Watkins um, keeping fit and apart from Watkins it's pretty, pretty much him and Bailey who are getting all the um, you know getting all the goal contributors at the moment they're very reliant on those two players are they going to keep it up playing two games a week just those two getting all the goal contributions I don't know uh, I, I'm skeptical about that to be honest um, so for me um, we don't need to win. If you offered me a draw, I, th I would say yes, just because I don't, I would, I wouldn't want that psychological blow of a of a loss to hit us. And I do think it could have a detrimental effect. Um, I do think even if we lose, we can overcome it, but it would be very, very difficult. I think if it, if it remains a draw. I, put, I still put Tottenham as slight favourites. And obviously, if we get a win, that would be marvellous. And I think we become big favourites at that point. So, um I think it's all to play for come the weekend. I think it's a massive game. It could be a very big, a very big in determining who comes in that top four um, spot. But um, I think a draw would actually be a good result. Mm. I, do, I agree. I do also think a draw would be a good result. You know, you keep it with five points with a game in hand. Albeit that game is ha game in hand is away at Stamford Bridge. Maybe it'll be time for Spurs to put Pochettino's Chelsea job uh, uh, confirmly, firmly in the mud. It'll be great if we could go to Stamford Bridge and win this year. Albeit, I don't know if uh, Pochettino is actually just uh, doing a job for Tottenham still. Uh, he might still be on the pay payroll, to be honest. But will, will he be in charge by the time we go to Stamford Bridge? Uh, Who knows? Depends when it is. They haven't scheduled it in yet, but let's hope he is because uh, I really want to see him on those sidelines when we when we tonk Chelsea um, at Stamford Bridge and we owe him one after that game you know we were battering them up until those uh, sending off so we really owe Chelsea a beating we owe Villa a beating as well to be honest and I think we've got it in us to win this weekend I really do uh, with Sonny up top with uh, defensive solidity that we showed on the weekend um, and maybe the balance that we had in the team which looked really good I feel like we've got it in us uh, within us to definitely go to Villa Park and win the game. Um, having said that, I, I co completely agree with Sim. I think a draw would be a, a top result uh, to come away from Villa Park with. Uh, when you're looking at the fixtures coming up, I do feel like if we can get a draw, again, I agree with Sim that we become favourites for the top four. But I don't think at, at this moment in time we are favourites because I think Villa are probably favourites to win the game this weekend if anyone's going to win it, especially with the bookies. And um, I feel right now it's probably in terms of percentage Percentages like fairly neck and neck who's going to get top four between us and Aston Villa. Um, do you feel like it's the same, Kate? Do you feel it's like kind of neck and neck or is there a clear favourite for top four right now? No, I, I think it's neck and neck. I think um, the fact that Villa have got the European games is going to play a massive part. And as Sim said, if they got an injury to say Ollie Watkins, I think their season collapses. I'm not going to lie. So, um, Is yeah, it the same with I, us with Jung Min Son? 
Well, we had we had um, two months with Son, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. no, we did. I, I don't think it's the same. I think we've got more quality than they have. Um, like Richarlison. Like, say, don't. Please don't get back <laughs> the um, it, It's it's going to be. A, I can't wait. It's going to be such an interesting game. Um, but like you say, I think we've got the quality to beat them. Um, would I take a point? Not in a million years. Um, well, I want to go there and bash them up. That's what I want to hear, Kate. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Don't want so a I... point. What's, what's your score prediction, Kate, for the game this weekend? I'm going to go 3 2 to Spurs. Ooh, and a ding dong battle at Villa Park. 3 yeah. 2. I love it. Sim, what are you going to. I am going to predict Spurs to win. I actually think we're, we, could, we could be quite well set up to play a team like um, Villa, with, especially if Longley is going to start the, in the back line as well. So I'm going to go for 3-1. 3-1. I was also thinking 3-1, but I need to go different. I can't go the same score line. So, oh, so basically I need to go for 2-1 or 4-1. So I'll stick with 2-1. I'll go a bit more reserved. So I'm going to go 2-1 to Spurs. I really think that we can hurt them with their high line and especially with Hyung Bin Son in the front line. He's going to be their kryptonite, in my opinion, this weekend. So I'm going to go for 2-1. Amir, what's your score prediction? I'm going with a crazy 3-2 Helter Skelter. And, you know, who's going to get the winner? Uh, Kulu's going to get the winner. Richarlison off the bench, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our ginger from sweden is going to do the business love it absolutely love it 